Howdy ho, partners. It is Red Dead Dylan back again with another Red Dead Redemption 2 tutorial video. And today I'm going to show you guys the basics of fishing and how simple it is once you have a rod and a place to fish. So, right here off the camp that my gang is currently at, we have a little dock here, so I'm going to walk to the edge of it. Now, first things first, we need to get our pole out. I'm on a PlayStation 4, so keep that in mind whenever I'm talking about the buttons. So I'm going to hold down L1, and we see our items here. Now you can see the fishing rod here, so I'm going to select it. Arthur's going to get it out, telescope it out, get that bad boy ready to go. As you can see up in the upper left-hand corner, it says hold L2 to grip the rod, which we will do. Now, we do not have any bait on this thing, so we actually need to hold down L1 again. And what happens is you get this up. Now, if you go up here to the top, it shows what bait you currently have, which I have um, some bobber fishing bread bait, I have some corn bait, and I have some cheese bait. Now, I used to have some worms, but I use them all. I need to go back to a general store and purchase some more bait. Then down here, we have um, a lake lure, and we are on a lake, so we're going to try this out. Oh, did I not select it? Okay, I think I did. So, I'm going to hold down L2, then we're going to hold down R2, and then Arthur will cast it out. Now, guys, I'm keeping L2 held down, and you got some, it tells you down there in the bottom right what to do. So, we are going to actually, with this lure, you need to reel it. So, on the right, on the R3, the right analog stick, I'm just rotating it clockwise. Does it matter which way you rotate it? Yeah, it does. You need to rotate it clockwise. And then once you get a bite, you will be able to hit R2 to hook the fish. Let's see if we get a bite. See how this usually works is when you have a tutorial, nothing bites. It may take us a few times here. Okay, so now here's another trick. You have dead eye capabilities by pushing in both analog sticks at the same time. Notice when we do this you can kind of see some fish and so it kind of helps you give an idea of where to cast more. Now we have a lot over here. These are little fish. I think they're bluegill. So we're not going to catch anything that big, but let's cast out in this general direction and see if we can get anything to bite. I am wondering as well, Arthur, holding down L2 and then I am actually, oh, got a bite. So now I hit R2 and as you can see, we're hooking it. Now do you see how the fish is splashing? We don't want to reel while it's doing that. Now that it's not splashing, we want to start rotating the R3 button um, clockwise to start reeling it in. And you can actually push left on your L3 button or right. Now it's splashing, so we're going to let go. We don't want to, you know, let it break the line. Once it's done fighting, I'm starting to reel again with R3 rotating clockwise. And then uh, we're going to try to get this. Oh, it's fighting. Going to let go. And here we go. And it gives you tips up in the upper left corner and the bottom right the whole time. So we almost got it in. Now we're going to be able to see what we got. It's actually bigger than I thought. And it is um, smallmouth bass. It's 4 pounds 6 ounces, which in real life is a really big fish. I mean, I catch a um, pound and a half, 2 pound, 3 pounds, sometimes some 4 pounders at most. And that's really a good fish in real life. So... Down the bottom right corner, you have the options to either keep it or throw it back. I'm going to go ahead and keep this. Then we can either donate this to our camp, which is right up that way, or we could ride into a town and sell it to a butcher. So anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to smash that thumbs up button. Also, please be sure to subscribe, so I'll continue to have more Red Dead Redemption 2 videos upcoming in the future. Tips, tricks, missions, tutorials, Easter eggs, all the good stuff, guys, from the most simple of things to the most complex of things. As always, guys, I enjoyed it. Be careful out there. It's the Wild West. This is Red Dead Dylan. Appreciate it, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.